Good morning, YouTubers. Today, I'm talking about what I'll eat in a day for optimal athletic performance. Now, many of you know I'm a tennis pro. I'm still active in tournaments. Occasionally, I like to do a uh, sprint triathlon, that kind of thing. And I work out, you know, usually at least five or six days a week. So, for athletic performance, what are the best foods? What is the best diet? Without a doubt, raw vegan, high fruit, simple carbohydrates are the best fuel source on the planet. Why? Because simple carbs are digested so easy into the body. They're readily available. And uh, any excess that you don't need is, is stored as glycogen in the muscles and then into the liver to be used when you need it. So simple carbs, as soon as those carbs hit your tongue, they start to be assimilated by the body. When they get to the small intestine, they go directly into the bloodstream, ready for use. Whereas all other foods, complex carbohydrates, like grains and tubers, potatoes, things like that, they require being broken down into simple glucose. That saps your energy, okay? Digestion requires energy. So what happens is, you know, you're exerting a lot of effort to digest these grains and tubers, so your body's not going to have the energy it needs for training to become a better athlete. Your body is using the energy that it gets from these tubers and grains to digest them, <laughs> okay? So, you know, you don't want to waste your, your fuel source on digestion. You want your fuel source to energize you and to be stored as glycogen in the muscles and then in the liver for further use. So my breakfast, I always start off with juicy fruits. I've got some lemonade here. I only had three lemons. What I did, I squeezed those three lemons and the, I put the pulp in there as well. Poured in, filled this up with water two or three squirts of honey, that's it, I've got my lemonade. Great drink to start the day off. It's delicious, cleanses the, the uh, digestive tract. I've got 10 oranges here, I'll juice those. My juicer collects the pulp, I eat the pulp. Make sure you eat the whole fruit. You want that pulp. 10 oranges, then I've got my watermelon here. I'm gonna finish up. This one is almost done. I'll finish that up. If I need more, I've got another one here. So that's my breakfast. Simple carbs, readily available, digested so simple. So I have energy to do a workout, okay? Because that's the key. You know, you, you want those simple carbs that are going to allow you to have energy, not sap your energy. And that's what all other food sources do. Complex carbs, fats, and proteins, they have to be broken down to simple glucose before they can be used by any cell in your body. So, you know, the more fruit that you can eat, the better athlete, and you know, use that for your calorie, your main caloric intake, the better athlete you, be, you can become because you have more time, you have more energy rather, to train. You've got the energy to do it. And the other benefit, and this is huge, the recovery. 
I remember I used to play tennis matches. I'd play a two and a half, three hour match. And the next day I could barely walk. I was so sore. That's when I was on an animal based diet. Okay, eating a lot of animal foods, grains, and things like that. Your, digest your uh, recovery is terrible <laughs> on an uh, animal-based diet. Once I switched to simple carbs, oh man, recovery. I mean, now I can do workouts, you know, intense, play a match two or three hours, and still the next day, you know, I'm, if I had a two or three hour match, I may feel a little bit sore, just a little bit, nothing like before, like I couldn't walk. I could go out and hit some balls. And that's actually the best thing you wanna do is do what you did that made you a little bit sore. Do that and you get the blood flow and you're fine after that, there's no problem. But that's for a two or three hour match. Most of my workouts, the recovery is absolutely perfect. There's, there's no big deal. You know, there's no sore muscles because your muscles are constantly getting what they need, fuel. Simple carbohydrates, simple sugars, easily digested. So I'll, I'll go through lunch and dinner as well and show you, um, you know, what I, what I have for the day. But remember that best fuel source on the planet, simple carbs. All the best. I'll talk to you at lunchtime. Okay, it's lunchtime. Probably my favorite meal of the day because it's always a lot of fruit. Today, what have I got going? Seven bananas, four chopped, three blended with some raw carob. I've also got some strawberries in there. Um, I've got some blueberries, and I've got two sapodillas. Those there are the sapodillas. Sapodillas are so tasty. Like a pear with hints of cinnamon. So sweet, very good. So I uh, had a very good morning. It's a little afternoon right now. It's 12.07. And this morning my wife and I did the tennis maintenance job that we do and uh, <clears throat> came back I had breakfast and then I had a one hour tennis lesson and then I did a 35 minute body weight workout so I've earned my fruit so remember that you want to earn your fruit okay this is like 1200 calories here but remember simple carbs going straight to the cells for energy, for muscle glycogen, for stored glycogen in the liver when I need it. All right, that's lunch, and I will see you later for dinner. All the best. All right, it's dinner time, and it's time for the greens. Greens are what you want for dinner. Now remember, I am not a total fruitarian. I firmly believe that we need our greens and vegetables. Now, um, think about it for a second. The strongest animals on earth, gorillas, elephants, uh, what do they eat? Greens, okay? <laughs> so greens are really your best source of protein. Um, you know, protein's not an issue, remember that, of course, but the, the protein in greens is very easily assimilated by the body. It comes in the best form in greens. So here, what I have in this salad, I've got um, green leaf and romaine lettuce, I've got cucumbers, I've got uh, tomatoes, I've got some pineapple, and my wife is gonna chop up some green onions. But here's another key, I think, to being successful. Start your dinner with fruit. That's why I've got my watermelon here, okay? Now, I've got, you know, a little 
pizza watermelon going here. Now, sometimes I'll eat two of these before I delve into the salad. Why do I do that? I still want to get more of those simple sugars, number one. And number two, after I finish my salad, I'm not going to be looking for sweets because that's the way we grew up. I did anyway. After dinner, it was time for ice cream, for pies, things like that. But when you eat the fruit before dinner, and then you have your salad, whoops, hey, <laughs> then you have your salad, you're, um, you're satisfying that sweet tooth that we all have, we all have that. And after dinner, you're not going to be looking for the chocolate ice cream. So, <clears throat> and the dressing I have, um, let me tell you about this dressing, okay? I, I go simple with dressings. I've got a quarter cup of cashews that were soaked, okay? I discard the water. They soaked for two or three hours. Then I discard the water. I put that in my blender. I'll put one medjool date. I'll put a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, the juice of one half of a lime. And then I add water to the consistency that I want. Now, that right there should be adequate. That would be a nice dressing. Tonight, I added some coconut aminos. And it's optional. I'm not that crazy about the taste. It's okay. It's not bad. I mean, I'm going to use it for sure, but I think it may have been better without it. Okay, so I put a tablespoon of coconut aminos in there. And remember, just, you know, add water to your desired consistency. Some people like it thicker. Some people like it more, you know, thinned out a little bit. When you thin it out, you have more volume. If there's more people, sometimes that works better. But anyway... That's it. Simple. Getting those simple sugars before dinner, it helps. So remember, for the best athletic performance, simple carbs should be your main fuel source. Okay? The greens now, are they take more energy to digest than the simple, uh, simple carbs there. A little more because they're a little more, uh, I don't know how you say it, but I, I'm pretty sure they take a little bit more digestion. But uh, you're getting a nice bang for your buck with minerals and uh, phytonutrients. So, and that's it. All the best, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Any questions or comments, please post those below. Uh, hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime I put up another video. And um, I do my best to get back to all the questions that people ask. Take care. To your health success.